is to protect human life, promote more adoption and less abortion by limiting abortion to the life of the mother, rape, and incest, and by being compassionate and supporting pregnant women. And as you just heard, Indiana Senate Republican leaders today unveiling a bill that would ban abortion in the state with limited exceptions. Thank you for joining us. I'm Kelsey Mannix. The bill is just the beginning of what's expected to be a weeks-long debate facing challenges from both legislators who think it goes too far and not far enough. So let's take a look at what this bill says. The bill prohibits abortions from the time an egg is implanted in a woman's uterus. It provides limited exceptions, including rape, incest, and the protection of a woman's life. A separate bill includes $50 million for programs to support women who are or become pregnant. The bill sponsored Republican Senator Sue Click says it won't stop women from accessing the morning after pill or other forms of birth control. This bill does not affect treatment of miscarriages, treatment of ectopic pregnancies. It does not affect in vitro fertilization procedures. It does not prohibit ending a pregnancy when the unborn child would not be able to survive due to a fatal fetal anomaly. Democrats and pro-choice advocates were quick to assail the draft bill. Senator Greg Taylor noting women would be no longer be able to get an abortion before 20 weeks. There were two glaring issues that I think the citizens of the state of Indiana should be very concerned about. One is that this is an outright ban on abortion. There are no time period exceptions for abortion under this legislation. And House Democratic leader Phil Giaquinta releasing a statement against the proposal saying, quote, the choice to have an abortion is a personal decision that ought to be left up to a woman and her health care provider, not Republicans who are playing doctor in the Indiana State House. Planned Parenthood also weighing in on the proposal, saying it still subjects abortion providers to possible investigation. Quote, today's unveiling of the Senate's plan to eliminate Hoosiers' access to basic health care confirms our greatest fears. A complete ban on abortion is on its way to Indiana. All of this, of course, sets the stage for Monday when legislators will begin debating the future of abortion in Indiana during a special session. Purdue Fort Wayne political science professor Andrew Down says we should expect to see legislators on both sides add or remove things from the bill. This may be what they decided is sort of like the baseline. Let's start with this. We won't catch a whole lot of flack for it. In fact, for a lot of uh, members of the legislature, they'll have constituents saying, way to go, you did a good thing. And then they could always come back and make it more and more restrictive in future years. But Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb wants to wait some time before making any final decisions. I want to see where we can build consensus and make progress. And so before I start to get into individual <laughs> ultimatums or this is in or this is out, um, we've got a few weeks ahead to, to clarify that. Bray says all sides will have an opportunity to be heard during lengthy hearings and public comment. We'll have coverage of the special session for you both on air and online at WFFT.com.